hello guys welcome back to photographics academy all right so today we are going to be transforming this particular image right here on photoshop or in photoshop using an amazing background i'm not going to be showing you the background until we start properly and of course the background will be available for you if you're a member of our telegram community so if you're not a member of our telegram community quickly go to our telegram uh, go to the description of this video you are going to see the link to join our telegram community so without wasting much of your time let's quickly get started and see the magic we can be able to create from this image so the first thing i will need to do is to crop the picture with my instagram size of course if you look at the image you notice she she was placed in the rule of thoughts so even if we are cropping we we'll also make sure we maintain that composition like this then make sure your content aware is turned on and press OK. So we, make, we are making sure that we place her in the thoughts of the whole image so that we'll get that beautiful compositional feel. Then the next thing is to separate her from the background. So I'm going to use my object finder, object selection tool. But this time around, I'm not going to turn on my object finder so it doesn't just find her. I'm going to use the lasso. So you can just go into here and choose lasso or use a rectangle where you just draw the shape and it picks her body. So we'll just do the last one and do a very rough, you know, selection of her skin. Leave it, it's going to immediately and automatically find the edges of your image. And that is a pretty good job. So I'm going to right click, go to select inverse, then I'll go back to my quick selection tool. So I need, I need this shadow in the selection or in the background, not in my selection. Then make a duplicate of your of your background layer. Right click and go to sell layer via cut. So what that is going to do for is it's going to place the object on a separate layer and the background on a separate layer. Now we can even decide to fill up the background by reselecting and you know doing content aware still, but we'll work with it like this anyways. So I'll make sure my object layer is above and my background layer is below. Now we'll have our object properly prepared for our background to be able to change. So to, be, to do that, I'm going to go into my background layer over here. Yeah, this background we'll be using. But I'm going to crop it the same 4x5. Then press enter. Alright, so the next thing is to unlock the layer. Go to move to drag it into our objects. Uh, document. Now we need to zoom in and scale in till she stays where she's supposed to be. So I'm going to just scale it in. I love this. Okay, so press enter. Now you can decide to change the blend mode to overlay. Just to make sure you get your shadows back. But in case your own is not, you know, as clean as mine, which is why the overlay worked. You can just come over here and create a new solid color. Select any color, maybe the gray color. Press OK. Change the blend mode to color. So it's going to make sure that you have a very uniform look. You can even decide to change the color of this whole background thing now. Look at that amazing color. I actually love this. This looks really beautiful. See this one. Amazing. So I think this is one we're working with currently. So I think that one we are working with currently. I am going to use it. Press OK. Uh, I think it's the blend mode that is making it, you know, look like it's working. Then reduce the opacity because it's now too bright. But I actually love the saturation it brought. Beautiful. Now, the background is bright, but my object is dark. So I'm going to pick up my curves. Clip it to the object layer and just brighten it up to an extent. Make sure the blend mode is in luminosity so it doesn't affect her color. Brighten her up. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. So the next thing to do is to, you know, maybe saturate the dress because I want the dress at the background to have the same color. So I'll just select her dress. Make sure I minus the skin, the hand, and all of that. Good, then I'll go to my hue and saturation. 
drag it all the way to the top and just you know embrace the saturation of that dress beautiful now the next thing to do is to create a reflection for her on this floor so to do that i'm going to make a duplicate of her own layer press ctrl t on the one downwards right click and go to flip vertically so immediately pushes it downwards now we just come here and place it so we can decide to skew just hold your alternate or your control and just drag it in like this beautiful but it cannot be this sharp now so we need to blend it into the background i love this blending looks superb so i'm noticing an issue in our hairline so we'll come here create a mask for it pick up our brush and just fix that area just like that and we'll have a very clean image so i'm going to create a global color grading then i'll take it to camera raw so we'll go to our color lookup tables and look for a, this is so nice look for a very suiting color this is beautiful I love this. I'm going to stick with this. Then I'll reduce it. Yes, of course. Reduce it. So this gives us uniformity, brings everything together. Now we can create a stamp visible layer. Go to our filter, go to camera raw filter. And uh, I think we just need to use our vignetting effect here. Just a little. We can't afford to do white. Just a little. And press OK and the job is done so this was the before we got started this is the after this is the before this is the after thank you so much for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one